Hi, this is Michael, and this is going to be my review of the NOCO Genius G1100 multipurpose battery charger. Now, this is 1.1 amps. Uh, it'll work with 6 volt and 12 volt batteries, and this is the box that you get it in. Here's what's included. Uh, first of all, you get the battery terminal connectors, and these are you know not overly heavy duty but they're certainly uh, adequate for the for the infrequent use that they'll probably get uh, there's an inline 10 amp fuse which is located right there and then this is the connector end which would attach to the battery charger cable end right here now this cable here that attaches to the battery charger uh, this particular cable length here is about 52 inches and then the power cord end of the battery charger, this is a six foot length. Uh, and then they also include a uh, cable here, which is the eyelet terminal connector, in case you want to use these instead of the regular clamps. Uh, and this has a similar end that connects into the battery charger right here. So you would connect your uh, battery, your battery charger to the end that you choose to use. Uh, you do not plug this in until you're already connected to your battery. So you would ch uh, check that the red or the positive goes to the positive terminal on the battery. And then the black usually typically is going to go to a uh, metal part of the frame of the car somewhere. Um, you want to usually avoid attaching this to the terminal itself. After you've got everything connected, that's when you plug in the battery charger and then there's a series of LED lights and I'm going to show you this uh, hooked up to my car in just a moment but there are a series of LED lights here which show you whether you're connected uh, to 6 volt or 12 volt um, this is actually a little button here where you can select the mode there's two modes for each battery type 6 volt or 12 volt and then this is these LEDs up here will give you the state of health of the charge of your battery once it's all plugged in. And then there's a fault LED which will light as well. So there's a lot of built-in protections with this, which is one of the nice things about it. Um, it does it does have reverse polarity protection, a short circuit protection, open circuit protection. Uh, it's spark proof. It's got an overheat uh, protection in it overcurrent and overcharge. So it's really it's really kind of taking a lot of things into consideration before it even turns itself on and starts operating. Okay, so I have attached the positive cable to the positive on my battery and I have attached the negative to the engine. Uh, it's got a good ground there and then I'm going to plug the charger in now, uh, the charger plug is polarized, but it's not a grounded plug. So I plug that in. Once I plug that in, uh, the green standby light goes on. That indicates the power is reaching the charger. And then I use the mode button to either put it in 6 volt normal or 6 volt cold AGM or 12 volt normal or 12 volt cold AGM and you need to read the manual to uh, find out what all those different modes are for. So I'm going to put it in 12 volt normal. If and when the battery is fully charged, uh, the LED indicators will indicate red, red, yellow, and green. So red 25%, red 50%, yellow 75%, and 100% charge gives you the green. So apparently my battery is fully charged at this point, so Right now, the charger is simply going to go into the maintenance mode, uh, which is basically a trickle charge mode, and it's just going to be applying a very, very minimal uh, charge to the battery to keep it topped off. You can actually leave this connected to your battery uh, all the time. You don't have to worry about overcharging your battery because there's protection built in against that. And otherwise, you can just reattach this to your battery when needed, uh, especially in the winter months, colder months, when your battery is likely to uh, have a reduced uh, charge or capacity. So I have no complaints with this. I like the fact that it's just so small and compact and uh, much easier to handle than the old style charger I used to have. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.